Hi, this is Joe, and welcome back to the Fab Lab. Yes, this is my roadkill boat. I've been doing some work here recently. I did some videos uh, of uh, rebuilding the transom, so we got the boat back together. Uh, this summer I want to put the boat in the water. Uh, normally I trailer it, drop it in the water. When I'm done, I pull it out. Uh, but this summer I want to leave it in for a couple of months. So I've been looking at various... Uh, bottom coatings, um, often referred to as uh, anti-fouling paint, uh, ablative paint, um, and uh, if you've ever used those before, you know they're very expensive. can be anything from $50 to $100 a quart. And uh, uh, the, the way it works is you put this coating on, on the uh, bottom of the boat, and when the boat gets wet, it becomes uh, soft and uh, stays soft and then when the uh, organisms try to grow on the boat um, it it sort of becomes slimy they don't stick to it if they do stick to it when you pull the boat out of the water uh, you pressure wash it it comes right off but so does your coating uh, or when you when the boat is wet you put the the boat on the trailer and it's soft uh, then then when you slide it up onto your trailer it can rub off as well so usually you have to reapply the coating every year to two years uh, because normally by design it is, is made to wear off uh, so what I did is uh, I actually already tried to do a video of me applying this and uh, I had some issues with the camera and unfortunately uh, those images or those videos did not work out so I'm now going to just show you what I did um, let's go up and take a look at the the actual product here um, this product is uh, Natural Marine. Um, it is a, let's go to the English side here. Uh, it is made in Canada. Uh, it's a uh, foul release uh, bottom, boat bottom coating. Again, it's a, a ablative coating or an anti-fouling coating. Uh, the, as I said, the issues with those is, is uh, the paint is very expensive. Uh, it's not good for the environment. Usually it has some type of a copper base to it, uh, so things won't stick the barnacles and growths, etc. I don't like that taste. So um, not really good and very expensive. This bottle is 400 milliliters. Uh, I picked it up from a, uh, a boat supply store called duckworks.com. Uh, it's uh, up in the Pacific Northwest in Port Townsend area. Uh, this bottle is supposed to be able to cover a 24-foot boat. And the instructions indicate that uh, you, the thinner you apply it, the better. You let it uh, cure for 12 hours before putting it into the water. And then you can either buff it out or just leave it. And I found that after applying it, it's actually quite glossy. Uh, I'll try to do an image of some shots of the bottom but you're probably not going to be able to see it very well due to the glare what I did was uh, I took a regular wax applicator sprayed it on a dr this dry applicator and then proceeded to coat the uh, the bottom of the boat at the water line and below uh, it was very easy to apply I only used about a quarter of a bottle so I'm going to get several years uh, or several uh, applications out of this. Uh, uh, they say for a fresh water environment, you can go the entire season before you have to reapply. Uh, in a salt water environment, they recommend uh, every few months uh, to pull the boat out, clean it up, and uh, reapply. Uh, what I did was uh, I wiped the uh, boat bottom down with uh, paint thinner. I took a regular uh, automotive style dual action uh, buff buffing uh, wheel system and uh, used some um, Meguiar's medium cut rubbing compound and I uh, completely uh, compounded the bottom of the boat and then I came back with the paint thinner and wiped it all down and then I applied the, uh, the wax to the bottom of the boat. Let me uh, pan down here again I don't think you're going to be able to see how glossy this is here uh, I use this as my uh, waterline area right here uh, it feels quite smooth again I don't think you're going to be able to see it it is much glossier 
than the area above the waterline. Uh, so I've never used this product before. So in a couple months, I'm going to pull the boat out of the water. We'll do another follow-up video, let you see uh, how it works. I've heard uh, from reading the reviews, uh, if there is any growth on the bottom, it will just they'll just wash right off. Um, not a heck of a lot of scrubbing or sanding. So again, $30 uh, for a bottle of this, uh, this wax. Um, 12 hours to cure. They say apply light as possible, which is interesting. So uh, we'll do that. And uh, much cheaper than and safer for the environment than the uh, anti-fouling paint. So um, uh, let's stay tuned for uh, further videos, a follow-up on this product. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.